Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about how to figure out how many dread extensions you need. So the two main things that factor into how many dread extensions you need is how much hair you have and the size of the dreads that you want. So the first one should be pretty easy to figure out. Either you have a full head of hair or you don't. And if you don't, then it's a little bit trickier. For example, I have a half head of hair. I have both of my sides shaved in a death hawk, and so that's a type of mohawk. If you have an undercut, that could also be a half head of hair. But if you only have a side cut, then that might be two-thirds of your hair. So basically, how much hair you have does factor into how many dreads you need, because that's what you install into. Additionally, the thickness of your hair can make a difference. For example, if you have really, really thick hair, you might need more dreads, and if you have a little bit thinner hair, then you might need less. And so the second part of this, which is the size of the dreads that you want, makes the biggest difference in calculating how many you need. And when I say size, I mean the width or thickness of the dreads, not the length. Dreads come in many different sizes, but on average there are about five main categories that you see them in. So you have micro dreads, thin dreads, medium, average, or standard dreads, and then you have thick dreads and extra thick or chunky dreads. And those measurements that you saw are estimates, they're pretty rough, there isn't an exact standard out there that every single dread maker uses. In addition to that, you'll see in the dread extension community that a lot of people refer to the size of their dreads using writing tools as measurements. The three most common that you see are pencil, sharpie, and highlighter, which I don't have. The pencil sharpie highlighter system corresponds to the thin, standard, and thick sizes. So I'm one of those people who tend to use writing tools as measurements. For example, I usually have sharpie thick dreads, but sometimes I have pencil thin, and sometimes I have a mix between sharpie and highlighter, like this set. And so, next up, how do you combine these two pieces of information, how much hair you have and the size of dreads you want, into how many dreads you need? And before we get started, I will disclaimer that I can't really speak on single-ended dreads, but what you can do is you can do the same calculation for double-ended, and then double that number. Usually that will give you more than you need, though. Um, it just kind of ends up that single-ended isn't always double the amount of double-ended dreads, but it is a pretty safe guess especially if you would rather have a few left over than to run out when you're installing. And so unfortunately, I don't have any examples of micro dreads to show you, but I will have a picture here just so that you guys can see what they look like. And so for double-ended micro dreads, if you have a full head of hair, you might need as many as 80 to 90 or even 100, just depending on how small they are. If you have a mohawk or a half set of hair, then for micro dreads, a good guess for you would be 50. If you have a side cut, maybe it's about 75. And so I can't give any really personal experience with micro dreads. I'm not super sure on those numbers, but I would say if I, with my amount of hair, were to order micro dreads, I would probably order 50 or 60. But a size that I do know a little bit more about is pencil thin or just thin dreads. So these are from Anemi Cold Synthetic Dreads and these are from Tidal Dreads. And I will also disclaimer that when I'm showing you guys the dreads, you'll see that not all of them are the exact same size. And that's because I buy dreads that are handmade. Machine-made dreads do exist, but they are not recommended. They are not good quality. And while some people do have a good experience with them, they tend to fall apart and don't really look as good. So if you want thin dreads and you have a full head of hair, then a good guess for you would be 70 double-ended dreads. The range could vary anywhere from 60 to 80 for how many you need, just depending on the thickness of your hair, or if you have like bangs that you want to leave out. If you have a mohawk set like me, I order 40 of these, minimum. If you have a side cut, or if you have a thicker mohawk, then you might need 50 to 60. Next up, we're going to be talking about the size category that has the most amount of names. And so I have dreads here, all from Sammy Synthetics. These are my two custom sets from her. All of these would be considered Sharpie thick, standard size, average size, medium. So if you have a full head of hair, you usually need about 45 to 50 of these. If you have a half set of hair like me, I always order 30 of these. And then of course, if you have a lot of your head shaved, then you might only need 20 to 25 of these. So the next size up is thick dreads or highlighter size dreads. And I have a few from my LS7 Cyber Slime set to show you. Especially this one. I think this one is the thickest out of the bunch. Also in this set that I'm wearing right now, like this, this green one is a really good example of a thick dread. At this thickness and a full head of hair, this is where you might only need around 30 to 40. If you're like me and you have a mohawk, then at this size you would need about 20 to 25. 
Sometimes I do order 30 still just to be safe because I would very much rather have five left over than to be short by five. And then lastly, for the chunky size, the extra thick dreads, I don't have a full set to show you again, but I do have some from the Sammy Synthetic set that we looked at a little bit ago. And so these were braids that she had made to accent the set. So if you have a full head of hair and you want a full set at this size, then you would probably need about 30, maybe a little bit less. If you're like me and you have a mohawk or a half head of hair, then you would probably need about 20, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Again, it all kind of depends, and it also depends on how safe you want to be with your ordering. Like I've been saying throughout the video, I always say err on the side of caution and order a little bit more, just to be safe. As I'm sure you guys gathered throughout the video, this is not an exact science at all. Since everybody's hair is different, people have thick hair, thin hair, medium hair, extra thick hair, people have mohawks, death hawks, side cuts, undercuts, bangs, no bangs, etc. What I usually do is my magic number is 30 dreads if I'm ordering sharpie thick or thicker, and then I'll get 40 if I'm ordering dreads that are anywhere between pencil thin and sharpie thick. Like I said, I've never ordered micro dreads before, but if I did, I would probably get at least 50. And if you want more dreads than you might need, that's okay. As long as you're not over installing, you're not putting too much strain on your scalp, you can install maybe more dreads than you might need to get a very full, thick look. And so of course, if you're maybe not wanting something so big and out there, then you can order a little bit less than you might need and then just have bigger sections. And if you're still not sure after watching this video and figuring out the size of the dreads that you want and comparing it to how much hair you have, then you can always message the maker or the person that you're buying from. They'll be able to help you out because they'll know the exact size of the dreads that you're buying. Hopefully that all made sense. I'm sorry that it's not an exact science and that I can really only give you estimates, but that's just kind of how it is. I'll also include all of the size categories with their measurement ranges in the description, along with where I got all of the dreads that I showed you. Don't forget that you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, you now, and I do now have a Patreon that you can pledge to. And speaking of, I'd like to give an extra special shout out to my Phoenix patrons, Cloud Rhythm and Stardust, who pledged last month. Those two also happen to be my very first two patrons ever, so they hold a special spot in my heart. So a huge thank you goes out to those two for making content like this possible. If you'd like to become a patron of mine too, then just follow the link in the description. And if not, that's totally okay. Just by being here, just by watching the video is enough. But of course, feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!